hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys this video speaks to that sense of unease that you feel every time you think about the nigerian state that sense of foreboding that our dark clouds are gathering you feel that sense but maybe you're not fully able to articulate it in your mind well guys the articulation is coming guys as i bring you this yoruba land in danger afeni ferry chieftain adebanjo raises alarm so that's the headline so now again yoruba land in danger afeni ferry chieftain adebanjo raises alarm so now let's now see what our danger yoruba land is under a chieftain of the pan yoruba socio-political group afeniferi chief ayo adebanjo has raised an alarm that yoruba land is in danger Adebanjo spoke in Ibadan at a book presentation and platinum recognition marking the 70th anniversary of Nigerian Tribune newspaper held at International Conference Center, University of Ibadan. According to Adebanjo, President Mohamed Buhari is not ruling the country. He wants to dominate us. Hence the need for the Alafi of Oyo to take the lead in liberating Yoruba land. According to Adebanjo, President Mohamed Buhari is not ruling the country. He wants to dominate us. Hence the need for the Alafi of Oyo to take the lead in liberating Yoruba land. Adebanjo maintained that the new task for you now is not just to tell us what Awolowo said. It is not just to tell us what Awolowo had done. You are in the forefront now to carry it out. Yoruba land is in danger. Please gather your obas and be the champion for leading this country. We have been submerged and only a few of our governors are responsible to us. They have shut down. They cannot face the head of state because of their own shortcomings. Kabiesi, I am openly appealing to you to lead the crusade for the liberation of Yoruba land. Now we are already subjugated. We are already surrounded by enemies who are appearing to be friends and our representatives in government collaborate for our subjugation. Don't let us mean any words at all. Now we have to get ourselves out of bondage. Buhari is not ruling the country. He wants to dominate us. I don't mean words about that. There is tyranny in the country. There is anarchy. When the head of state said there's no respect for the rule of law, where are the lawyers? The moment there is no respect for the rule of law, there is no government again. There is anarchy. Adebanjo pointed out that there were the lawyers and judges sitting at the conference where he said that and there was no reaction. Judges are being hounded all over the country. Court orders are not being obeyed with impunity. Kabiesi, it is no longer the question of telling us what is to be done. It is a question of leading the crusade that we are no longer going to subject ourselves to this bondage. Positive action now. Let our Kabiesi, the Alafi of Oyo, Call the other obas and we citizens, the politicians you think are representing you are not representing us. They are protecting themselves. So this is now again that cry out now from our Yoruba land now in this instance saying that look, what is going on in this country is really cause for uh, alarm and we are effectively sleepwalking into a disaster now because we see these things coming and we talk about it and nothing is being done because we do see these things coming we see the open border policy where the borders in the southern regions are on complete lockdown but we see them streaming in from the north we see that the rule of law has effectively now been suspended within the nigerian state all the finances of the country are shrouded in mystery all the key appointments within the nigerian space are of a particular religion and of a particular tribe so all of the signs are there and there's a heavy crackdown 
on any dissenting voice the elzagzakis the shiites uh, uh etc i'm not going to put uh the dasuki in that list because he of course is not a dissenting voice he is just somebody that has a personal issue or who malambohari rather has personal issues with but all of the clouds are gathering the uh fulani headsmen rolling around the streets with cows now sleeping in the middle of the road and you can't even ask them to move because they will just ak 47 you and nothing will happen we saw how the middle belt uh, uh, benway state uh, plato state etc was ravaged and savaged for two years solid and nothing was done not one single person was apprehended so we see all of these things there was a time you couldn't drive to those state or even to ibadan from lagos without having an encounter with a fulani headsman who is ready to do you all manners of ill so now this is all of the things now that we are contending with now and this again is what this uh gentleman is alerting to that look we're sleepwalking into a disaster in this country and really if you are looking to some sort of government to protect you then you are completely and grossly mistaken because the government is not for you this guy is out to dominate you and all of the signals are there if you look at the configuration of all of the forces within the nigerian space i think there's a probably just one yoruba name which is just some nominal name i think it's the chief of defense staff who doesn't have troops by the way because the chief of defense staff is just like a coordinator but really if you look at the head of the key forces within the nigerian space they are all of a particular religion and a particular tribe the nsa the uh, minister of uh the uh, the, the nsa but really if you look at all of the key um but but really if you look at all of the key forces within the nigerian space they are all of a particular coloration all the same or from the military guy to the nsa to the dss to the everything to the ig they are all of a particular coloration so what that then tells you then or at least it lends itself to the thinking that really we're effectively being surrounded by guns effectively that is really the situation now because of course the loyalties of these people are to malam buhari and their ethnicity we all know that i think there's absolutely no question about that and we saw what transpired at the last election to reaffirm that as well these people their allegiance and their duty is primarily and almost exclusively to malam buhari and nothing else they owe you no obligation they just expect you to toe the line as they go about actualizing their plans so this is effectively now the situation that we have in nigeria and this is what this guy is alerting to now that look we're a dominated people we're a subjugated people and we're completely surrounded and if we don't look to ourselves to rescue ourselves then we'll just hand ourselves over effectively sleepwalk into a disaster is effectively now what this guy is saying conversations in the comment section i can now uh, resonate with this uh, particular narrative that this guy has described but what is your take come share thoughts about what this affair chieftain has said uh with me in the comment section but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video then come tell me now what your understanding is of the goings on in nigeria because it's shrouded in mystery but then it's also as clear as day you know so it is a double-edged thing you see it coming but that sense of our disbelief is asking you to suspend that belief of what your eyes can visually see and then hope against hope so it's effectively hoping against hope that seems to be the uh, status quo the state of play within the southern regions especially and especially in the yoruba regions they think they are playing it quiet for 2023 but that 2023 may never come come share thoughts about all this with me in the comment section so i'll leave you here carry on with you in the comment section but here i say peace